Hello everyone, I'm Shimiao Zhang, a PhD student from the University of Michigan. And today I'm presenting our work, Quick is not quick enough over fast internet. So Quick is expected to be a game changer in improving web performance. It is a transport layer protocol over UDP designed to enable reliable and secure connections. But does Quick always perform well? So there have been many works studying Quick performance. However, they use diverse Quick implementations computer environments, and network conditions. And the findings they provide are a mixture of performance gains and in some cases, degradations. So compared to quick uh, TCP or earlier generations of HTTP. So we argue that we should determine its performance in the context of a specific service and setup. And in this work, we examine an onyx product scenario running quick over high speed networks. And note that here we are comparing the UDP Quick and HTTP 3 protocol stack with the TCP, TLS, and HTTP 2 stack, and refer, refer to them as Quick and HTTP 2. So when comparing the Quick and HTTP 2 protocol stacks, various factors from different components in the network can affect the performance and potentially become the bottleneck. So we carefully set up our test bed to ensure fair comparison. And the server machine is connected to the client machine via a one gig Ethernet link. And they're only two hops away from each other. And this setup avoids network related impacts such as network congestion during busy times and middle box misbehavior, such as bandwidth throttling. And we host a HTTP server using open light speed, which is built on top of a, a, a quick library called LS Quick. And the congestion control algorithm for Quick is Cubic, which is also the default algorithm used for TCP. And the UDP and TCP buffer sizes are adjusted to more than the link's bandwidth delay product to prevent buffer starvation during the uh, experiments. And also in this study, we mainly look at the performance of Quick in HTTP file download, video streaming, and web page load. Let's first look, uh, look at the uh, file download using two lightweight download tools, Curl and the Quick Client. So Curl is a simple data transfer tool that supports both Quick and HTTP2. And the Quick Client is a standalone Quick implementation in Chromium as a tall example and shares exactly the same Quick stack with Chrome or Chromium. And both tools have an implementation of full transport and application protocol stacks, but are not built with any complicated browsing functionalities. And first, we, we vary the file size from 50 megabytes to 1 gigabyte. And the results show that Curl running HTTP2 outperforms both Quick setups. And we also find that curl incurs a higher CPU usage when running quick, and the quick client's CPU usage is even higher, almost reaching 100%. And next, we limit available network bandwidth at different points from 15 megabits per second to 1 gigabit per second using Linux TC or traffic control. And when the available bandwidth is relatively low, all the clients can catch up with the bandwidth. However, when the bandwidth grows large enough, uh, after around 600 megabits per second, Quick's actual throughput starts to be bottlenecked, and we see a noticeable disparity between Quick and HTTP2. And we repeat the file download test on Chrome, and we see a more significant gap than that in previous experiments with lightweight clients. And the bottleneck bandwidth appears earlier at around 500 megabits per second, where Quick fails to uh, fully utilize the available bandwidth. And we extend the experiments to other quick enabled browsers, including Firefox, Edge, and Opera. So we observe similar results. So, so the slow quick download is prevalent across uh, production browsers, and this can affect users' experience when downloading bulk data at high speeds. So next, we investigate quick's performance on video content delivery and web page load. So we encode a 4K video with H264 into 6-bit read tracks and three chunk durations. And the server is configured to support two mainstream categories of bit read adaptation algorithms, buffer-based and read-based. So in addition to the 1 gigabit per second Ethernet link considered in our previous experiments, we also run Linux TC to emulate 4G and 5G networks using real traces. And the results show that Quick performs worse than HTTP2 in Ethernet and 5G scenarios. And this is likely due to the high bandwidth in these two network settings being high enough to saturate the client's CPU. So recall that earlier we discovered the bottleneck bandwidth is after which Quick cannot fully utilize the link capacity for download. <coughs> uh, for download clients and Chrome are around 500 and 600 megabits per second. And taking into consideration the video playback overhead, such as decoding and rendering, this bottleneck point can be further lowered. 
And on the other hand, for 40 scenarios, the performance difference is not that significant. Now, web browsing is another crucial role in the web ecosystem. And unlike bulk file downloads, web page load in involves the transfer of multiple small objects that can be either concurrent or sequential depending on the object dependency. And we experiment with Alexa's top 100 websites. And first, we use original URLs to uh, directly load the remote websites with quick enable on Chrome. And surprisingly, the page load tests on most websites that do not contain any HTTP3 objects, which means those sites have not enabled quick yet. And then we download and host the website locally on our own server. server. And the, the left of two figures illustrate the diversity of these uh, test sites. And the performance difference is not as significant as that in video streaming. And on average, the quick's page load time is 3% longer than HTTP2s. However, there's a long tail showing that in some cases, the gap can be over 50%. So with this uh, quick and HB2 results on various applications, we want to identify the root cause of the observed performance gap. So we start with ruling out various factors. So we have done a lot of uh, small experiments to make sure all the following factors are not the main reasons for quick slow slowness. So they include web server software, difference in download performance of UDP and TCP itself, and difference in HTTP syntax and TLS, and some specific quick parameter configurations, such as packet pacing and the client operating systems and factors in disk and memories. And then from TCP down packet traces, we observe much more packets in quick tests. For example, during a one gigabyte file download, we observe 58K and 744K packets for HTTP2 and quick respected. And we also measure the packet RTT, defined as the time between when a data packet is sent out from the server or sender and when the first act of this packet is received. And the RTT consists of the propagation time spent on the path and the processing time spent on the receiver side. And the average packet RTT for HTTP2 download is only 1.9 milliseconds, while that for quick download it goes to 16.2 milliseconds. Since the ping RTT between the two machines is only 0.23 milliseconds, so most of the RTT comes from endpoint packet processing. So now it seems that the performance bottleneck of quick uh, appears to be on the receiver side. So to further pinpoint the root cause, <coughs> we conduct fine-grained profiling in both the OS kernel and the US uh, the, the, the user space, which is Chromium's networking stack using Linux perf. So we first look at the kernel activities. During the download, we observe a large, large number of some uh, certain fun function calls which are invoked during a, a packet when, when a packet is received at the network interface. Specifically, we have 231k calls for quick and only 15k for HTTP2. And usually, certain NIC offloading mechanisms like generic receive offload or generic segmentation offload are used to reduce uh, packet processing overhead. However, our experiments indicate that Quick cannot benefit from existing GRO or G GSO. And additionally, at the user space, we find that Quick incurs higher overhead when processing received packets and generating responses like X. So finally, we make some recommendations for mitigating such observed issues, including uh, the adaptation of UDP generic receive offload and the more quick friendly improvements to the offloading solutions and optimizing quick logic on the receiver side and uh, multi-threaded download. So for example, our preliminary experiments show that increasing the number of concurrent download instances can help reduce the download time. So in conclusion, so Quick promises a more responsive and a more secure web experience. And in this study, we have found that there is a gap between Quick's design and its actual performance. So Quick is not quick enough over fast internet. And our root cause analysis re reveals that the culprit is high receiver side processing overhead. And this calls for efforts to explore different ways to improve and deploy and iterate the quick design and even the upper layer protocols in general. So thank you for joining my presentation and please check our paper for more details.